Hello there, my name's Mark, I'm from Snooker Crazy and I've been asked a couple of questions as to what you can do when your cue gets a little bit sticky. Well, first off I would make sure that before you start playing, make sure your hands are thoroughly scrubbed and clean and make, the other thing is make sure they're really dry, if not then obviously you're going to put any of that water onto your cue and make it probably even more more sticky and a bit grimy. Um, most people carry a, a few things in their case. Um, I brought a couple of extra bits out really that you can have a think about. I don't personally use this myself, but most people that tend to use uh, paper type substances may use a paper towel or a newspaper. And what they do is they almost try and burnish the shaft. So when it gets a bit sticky, they'll bring it up just before the tip and they give it a solid wipe to try and take that excess chalk off. And sometimes the dirt and the grime that you get from your, your fingers and you can actually, I can actually feel the heat under my cue, under my hand, I should say. And it's, yeah, it's pretty warm now, and it doesn't feel too bad. Can't really see a lot on the towel, but to be honest, um, unless it's really dirty, you're not going to get too much off. Not my preferred method. So if you're really stuck, you can use a paper towel, which obviously you can get at the club as well. You'll see a lot of people use a duster, which I still carry one in my case. I do find that. When you move that in pretty quick, you can give you a quick fix, which is nice if you're in the middle of a frame and you're not really quite sure what to do. And if you can again do that, you can really feel the heat underneath, that will get you in there. And also up on the butt end, give that a really good going over. You can do that in a few seconds, and you also see people where they're sat in between waiting for their shots doing all this. Generally, do it with a, a microfiber towel, but lots and lots of people use a duster. Now this is probably the most favourite. Got a standard type microfiber towel and they wet one end. What you do is you make sure there's only enough water in it that when you're wringing it nothing comes out. Otherwise if you get too much in there there's a fair chance you could actually wash the grain filler out of your queue. What I would do now is just spin the top just a little bit Try and avoid your Q-tip, otherwise you're going to make that wet. And then drag it from top downwards with the damp bit. Dragging that Q away from where your hand's going to be. And that chalk will stay away from where your hand's going to be, as low as you can get it. And all the way down. And then if you've only wet the top off, which you should be, you can then get the dry bit and immediately get in there and get any dampness straight off and the remainder then should just evaporate if you've done that properly. So say keep as much of that water away as you can so just make sure it's just slightly damp and if you're a bit anal like me you might even have something that you can buff it even quicker. It depends whether you're damp the club or not what you've got in your cue case but that straight away is pretty good so that's what the majority of people use. I'm a little bit out of breath at the moment because it's about a thousand degrees outside. So, I'd say that's a pretty good method. My preferred method is the baby wipe type thing, which is a really good tip. Got a bit of moisture in there, not too much, so it's not really damp. I tend to keep them in a plastic bag, keep it sealed, because if you leave it open they'll go off a bit quick. But a similar method again, so get yourself a, a cue to try. A fair bit of chalk around this one. I don't know if we can really see that. I tend to try and do there. Get as much of that as I can out. And again, drag it down. Personally, I don't drag it over the, the butt area, I tend to put my hand there, so I bounce it off of that and try to spin it slowly and get it down till you get all that chalk out. Again, let's have a look at that area there, avoiding that tip again, otherwise you're going to end up with a wet tip and all sorts of trouble. Let's just gently go up and down. You can see it's now pretty much out of there. Dragging that chalk down. Let's 
going. I don't know if you can see that, that's pretty disgusting. But pretty good to get it out. Right, and again, you probably have a duster or something similar. But immediately you've got just a little bit of water on there, not much. And again, go over to get that last bit of water off. And if you're used to doing this, which I pretty much am, you'll know when you're getting up near the tip. And as you're doing, you'll notice that I'm twisting it. So we get all around the queue. Hang on, I'll probably go past the butt on this one, just in case anything's got past there. And there you go. No, that's not bad. That's really, really nice. So that was a filthy queue, and it's taken 20 seconds. So I love that one. So that's my preferred method. Not that I'm particularly the, the wrong way. Um, probably the damp cloth is the most consistent. The first time I saw that was when Jimmy White was doing it, which is where I got it. I managed to put too much water on and drag all the grain filler out, so clearly that's one to avoid, as I said. This is one of my playing cues, so just be a little bit careful with that. Get another one out, and let's just quickly see what we've got in this one. I didn't clean that afterwards, and I pretty much clean that after every session. That's See how quickly I can do this one. Shouldn't really be too much in there. So yeah, a little bit from yesterday, but not too much again. So and immediately get that out, get that water off of it. I can feel it going already. Spin as you do it. Take you long at all. Absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, if you're a Q freak like me, you'll, you'll like the feel of that. We'll talk about how to clean the butt in another video, but if you want to clean the shaft on the Q, uh, that I think is certainly the way to go. But if you really do struggle and it's just not happening for you and it's midsummer, use a glove. I've only just started to do that, but probably twice a year, maybe three times a year. If you really can't move that cue over your fingers, just through temperature, some of the places I've been are absolutely boiling hot, and no matter how much that cue is clean, if your hands are going to sweat and you suffer from that, use a glove. Absolutely perfect. So, I hope that's been helpful, and uh, any questions, you can contact me on the website. So, we will do the the buck cleaning on another video. Thanks very much. Ta-da.